2021. Signed a three-year partnership agreement this Wednesday at the Hilton Hotel in Yaoundé. And in sport, the Cameroon Football Federation has held an urgent executive committee meeting to respond to questions posted by CAF in connection to the National Professional Championship. Those were our top stories. Marines, irrespective of language, dressing code, food, and word of view, there is the Boya Monument located at the foot of Mount Cameroon. The magnificent structure consists of the logo of the celebration of the independence of Cameroon as a central unit. It should be recalled after the official unveiling of the monument in Boya, President Paul Beer told the press that the monument was a homage to the efforts consented by the people of Cameroon to live in peace and prosperity. Peace is symbolized by a dove holding its peak, the beast plant overlooking the map of Cameroon at its upper end. The 10 bedded columns whose height varies from 1.3 meter to 7 meters support the logo. These columns symbolize power, the dynamics of growth and emergence which are fundamental to the economic, social and cultural development of Cameroon. To showcase the cultural diversity of Cameroon, a great work of art in the form of a mosaic made from glass paste inspired the cultures of the 10 regions. In the capital of Cameroon, Yaoundé, the country is endowed with another magnificent monument. This monument was constructed in the 1970s to memorialize the post-colonial margin of British and French Cameroon. Its architects are Gedon Mbopo and Elgeben Verm. The monument is just awesome because of the symbol the unity brings which is engraved within the carving of stones. The importance of monuments cannot be undermined as it is a landmark of national prosperity. The unification monument records an important moment in Cameroon's history, the political unification of the two Cameroons, the Francophone and the Anglophone part in 1961, leading up to the birth of the United Republic of Cameroon in 1972. The flag, national anthem, the seal, coat of arm, and motto are the national symbols that serves as the nation's identity card. These symbols are used mostly in international events to represent the country, as Ruth Fonyong tells us in this report. The national emblems of Cameroon are signs in different forms that are used to distinguish a given country from other countries. The Republic of Cameroon has five national symbols. The national anthem, which reminds the compatriots of our glory and pride and a feeling of sense of belonging. It carries a certain emotion we resonate in unison. The flag of Cameroon, green, red, and yellow. Each of these colors has a meaning. Green is for the vegetation of the south, yellow for the savannas of the north, North, read a link between the north and south and stands for national sovereignty. The coat of arms of Cameroon consists of a shield with a banner above and below it. Behind the shield are two cross faces. The shield has the same color pattern as the flag. In the center is a map of the nation. The scales of justice are superimposed on top of the map. Moreover, the seal of the Republic of Cameroon is a secular medallion in base relief, 46 millimeters in diameter, bearing on the obverse and in the center of the head of a girl in profile turned to the dexter towards a coffee branch with two leaves and flanked on the sinister by the five cocoa pods encircled beneath. And we have the motto of Cameroon, Peace Work Fatherland. Peace stands for the peace in the country. The hard work and fatherland is proof of the love for the country. However, the national symbol is a representation that manifests itself to the world as a national community. The main aim is to uniting people through the creation of verbal, visual, and iconic symbolism of the national people. The national symbols promote patriotism and celebrate it by the people. From now, Cameroon will be 49 years since its reunification on the 20th of May 1972. 
Despite our differences and difficulties, some Cameroonian artists, though some are of blessed memories, advocated through their music for peace, unity, though in diversity. Tabby Clarkson compiled some in the following report. National unity is important. We are a people, we are a nation. And after 49 years of unity, we have to consolidate our living together as Ngeyala Hood sings. Together we are stronger. Unity is strength, and this is the plea of Prince Afakom. Prions pour la nourriture et la boisson. C'est la garantie de la paix chez nous. Venez-moi! Or again, when the late Anne Marine Zé sings Liberté, Freedom, the way to say that as a people we are free from the problems of our colonial masters. Music cools the heart. Yes, it spurs the mind. At a time when our national unity is seriously crying for salvation, national unity goes alongside with effective national integration and not window dressing. Yes, anglophones and francophones is a marriage. A marriage forever. As you heard in one of our late stories, the Vice President of the National Assembly, Honorable Emilia Munjowalifaka, who was called to glory on April 20th, 2021 in Buya, chief town of the Southwest region, has been paid last honor by his colleagues of the National Assembly. The honor was paid this morning at the conference center, their temporal venue. Tabby Clarkson once again. Emotions at the Yaoundé Conference Center this Wednesday as senators, MPs, government ministers, friends, relations, world witchers came to pay their last tribute to late Honorable Emilia Monjoa Lifaka. What a loss. A great loss indeed for her family. of Africa as a whole and indeed I admire her for those qualities and uh, we are missing her much. Honorable Emilia Munjowa Lifaka's passing to glory is a big loss to many. We were not from the same political party but she knew how to, to be a good politician in that I mean someone respecting the values of others even if you don't agree. Uh, she will have her arguments, uh, but always in full respect and make her points clear. To be lost to the parliament and uh, to the anglophone um, um, population and region in general. Madame Monjoa was a very compassionate woman. She was welcoming, warm, serviceable, and always there for those of us who just came in uh, during what we call the 10th legislature. Emilia Lifaka came to Parliament in 2002. She was elected Vice President of the National Assembly in 2009. 
she was chairperson of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. She died on April 20 at the Boya Regional Hospital after a brief illness at the age of 62. She will be laid to rest this Saturday, May 22nd, in her native village in Boya. May her soul rest in peace. We now take you over to the south region of the country where councillors of the Israeli Council in the Njai Lobo Division in the south region of the country has rounded up a two-day session in the presence of the senior divisional officer of that division. The session focused on the evaluation of the 2020 budget as well as the 2021 budget for that municipality as Stephen Elangwe tells us in this report. It was an ordinary session by the Municipal Council of Zuetili that took place in the of, uh, our, our concert. Statistics show that the budget is estimated at 449,635,849 francs, while the revenue led for of region of the country, Ibrahim El Rashidin has called on Colonel Ewodo to be a perfect uh, example and ambassador of peace to promote the concept of multiculturalism and the idea of living together. He was speaking uh, during the designation of the Colonel as a notable of Garua. The following report has an in depth of the story. Since the election of the Lamido Ibrahim El Rashidin to the helm of affairs, it has been a part of a new dynamism in Gariwa. The Lamido's vision embraces the modern management of traditional chiefdom based on multiculturalism and living together in diversity. These two concepts are the basic ideas of the Lamido who holds his subject so dear in heart. This has finally led to the designation of Colonel Awudu as a notable. Colonel Ewodo, in the name of the Lamido of Garwa, we today name you a notable and an ambassador and a representative of this Lamidate of goodwill. These titles will from today be your attributes, and you have now become a member of the court of this Lamidate. We confide in you the responsibility of showcasing the image of the Garua Lamidate in the great southern regions of Cameroon, in all circumstances and in all places where you'll be, carry the message and image of this Lamidate. Thank you. Garwa being a cosmopolitan city, the traditional and administrative authorities understand the importance and values of multiculturalism and intercommunity living together. His Royal Majesty Ibrahim El Rashidin, the Lamido of Garwa, is illustrated as an essential defender of republican values. On to one of our lead stories, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Civic Education and the United Councils and Cities of Cameroon, UCCC, have signed a partnership agreement for the parties to collaborate in the field of civic education for a promising future for the younger generation. The partnership agreement was signed this Wednesday, May 19th, at the Hilton Hotel in the nation's political capital. Our reporter, Geraldine Nasser, was present and compiled the following report for us. With the purpose of defining a framework for the collaboration with several elements relating to the development, promotion and animation of activities related to youth affairs and civic education, a partnership agreement was signed between the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Civic Education and the United Councils and Cities in Cameroon. At the level of uh, council, we thought that we could uh, reinforce the participation of young people. Uh, and uh, the, in the domain of volunteering also. So this is very really important to engage them in local development for of their communities, 
but also is a mentorship program. During this signing ceremony, there was the presentation of municipal youth councillors of the Yaoundé 2 City Council who voluntarily commit to a one-year initiatory process with a municipality in order to give their time to participate and to enhance knowledge and skills in the field of public action applied to local development. The presentation of this agreement includes 10 areas of collaboration between the parties and the common commitment of both parties. The agreement is constituted of 13 articles, partitioned into three chapters and is envisaged to last for a period of three years, renewable by agreement between the parties. We all strongly stand uh, behind, um, most especially the youth in our area, uh, in the northwest and the southwest uh, region, that as we all know uh, have been uh, tempted to indulge into activities which have not been very profitable actually to the state. Uh, I think this is just uh, uh, one of those, uh, I would say, uh, agreements which will help us, uh, most especially in this area, we have a lot of youth uh, that um, actually need to come out of the bushes, of course, and uh, indulge into much more profitable, much more constructive uh, the mental projects. At the end of the ceremony, a gift was offered to the Minister of Youth Affairs and Civic Education by the Municipal Youth Council as a symbol of the agreement. This partnership heralds a promising future for young generations through the initiatives of decentralized territorial collectivities. On to something else, Cameroonians have good and memorable souvenirs when it comes to their telephones, which includes that of love and other aspects. In the following report compiled for us by Colette Loam, she says mobile telephone plays a vital role in the spicing up our living. Her report. Mobile telephones facilitate communication in romantic relationships. Mobile phone use relational uncertainty, love, commitment, and attachment styles. Some school of thought examines the associations between mobile phones use and the relational uncertainty, love and commitment and attachment styles. A survey of 197 college students revealed that greater use of mobile voice calls with a romantic partner was associated with lower relational uncertainty and more love and commitment. Also, the higher the avoidance, the less the participants use voice calls and an interaction effect was found between avoidance and anxiety on voice call use. However, there were no significant results in relation to the use of text messaging. Overall, more mobile calls in romantic relationships are associated with positive relationship qualities. To some, their best souvenirs with their phones is the fact that they cannot be separated from this device. It's a do or die. It's a part of me. Being without my phone in a day can be really crazy and moody for me some days. Speaking to some persons behind the camera, they say their best souvenirs with the telephone is when their loved one sends a succulent love message with romantic weddings and another's best moment with the phone is the first day he bought the phone and the call came in informing him was successful in the GC Advanced Level Certificate in 10 years. My best moment with my phone is uh, when I am trying to record uh, maybe a gospel sound or music in general. Whatever the case may be, phones have impacted the lives of majority of people in many angles. You are watching the 6 p.m. newscast on Camdis Television in the English language. In sports, the executive committee of the Cameroon Football Federation, FICA Food, has held an urgent meeting in response to questions posted by the Confederation of African Football CAF regarding the deadline concerning the professional football league in the country. Held at the Fika Food Head Office in Tinga, Yaoundé, the committee also used it as an opportunity to evaluate other projects carried out by the Federation. Stephen Elangwe has more in this report. Sedum Bomonjoya first of all saluted the bravery and commitment of his close collaborators and made it clear that Fika Food has not known blue skies in recent times. 
but it still stands tall at this time of high expectations from CAF following the announcement of the deadline for Cameroon to produce a team to compete at the international level in professional football next June 30. Resolve all our problems. As far as uh, the Cup of Cameroon is concerned, as you know, the Cup of, Cam the Cup of Cameroon is very sensitive because it's, uh, it doesn't, it's organized by us, but it doesn't really, at the end of the day, depend on us as far as the final is concerned. So, please, it's, you have to understand this uh, issue uh, that we had to face so many, so many times in the past and we couldn't resolve it. At the end of the day, we, I think we have found a solution. My colleagues and I, we are looking forward to see a way that at the end of uh, June, the date that CAF is issuing for the, for the, uh, uh, the CAF competitions, we have the name of the two representatives of, of the continent, of the Cameroon for the, for the competition. We have solved the problem. Regarding the controversy over the payment of the salaries of the players of Elite 1 and 2, which is a main obstacle to the organizing of the professional football championship by Faker Foot, the president had another thing to say, except the ordinary session ended with resolution underpinning the evaluation of works at the technical center in Osa, the organization of women's football competition, the elite one and two. is also charging them with participation in an armed gun without exercising any command on authorized possession of firearms of the first category and acts of maneuver likely to compromise public security. But defense lawyers in the case are absent in the trial having announced their refusal to participate saying they will not lend their support to a sham trial. Guillaume Soro was once an ally of President Alassane Ouattara. He commanded a rebel force backed the current president in his fight against President Laura Gbagbo, who refused to accept he had lost 2010 elections. It is here that the curtain draws for this edition of the news in the English language. Meet Desiree Trezembonne at 8 p.m. for the news in the French language. I'll be with you tomorrow, 6 p.m. for another edition of the news in the English language. Do have a wonderful evening in the company of our program, Come This Television Cares. Goodbye for now.